Welcome to another episode of Practice Tips. This episode is for beginners, intermediate students and advanced students. We will talk about how to organize our practice. This is very important. It may seem very trivial and very ordinary. Why should we talk about how to organize our practice? But that's the pain point which most practitioners of music are facing. They are not able to organize their practice, make it effective so that they can cover all the material they have. So how do you do that? The simplest way of doing this is whatever composition, suppose you have learned say 15 varnams, say 100 kritis, a few uh, 100 um, uh, tukadas like bhajans or padams or javalis or devarnamas or tarangas. If you have learned some Tillanas, some Tirupukad, make lists of each of these. Organize them into lists. Now, when you start your practice, I would say, everyday practice should begin with a round of Pranayama in the morning. Pranayama, Anuloma, Viloma, that is alternate nostril breathing, Pranayama, at least 10, 10 rounds of uh, alternate nostril breathing after which meditate at least for 15 minutes after this start your practice first I would say invest about 15 minutes to half an hour for vocal exercises then from each of these uh, uh, varnams or kritis or tukadas or tillanas pick out one item Pick out one composition from, pick out one varnam. And should I just sing it once and leave it? No. This is not a performance. You are practicing. So till we internalize that composition, be it a varnam or a, a kriti, till every sangati in that is internalized, till you actually are able to make that composition your own, keep practicing it. If it's not there on the first day, next day again take that same composition. How much time do I need to dedicate for this composition? The amount of time it takes for you to internalize that composition, that much time you need to take. P.S. and Sir, P.S. Narayan Swami Sir, my guru used to say that when you learn a composition, you need to sing it at least 100 times before you can actually go out and perform that. So that is the amount of time it requires for the polishing and internalizing and making it your own. So, take these compositions and internalize it. You may on a particular day feel um, in, inspired to pick out a particular raga and sing a composition in that raga. It is not required that you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But as far as possible, if you systematically go down the list, make sure that you cover every item so that or in a period of a month, for, it, for example, you would have actually come covered most of your compositions. Or in a, over a period of say 3-4 months, if you have a lot of compositions, if you over a period of 6 months, you would have actually worked through all your compositions you learned. It is very important to keep singing these compositions. Because you keep learning so many new compositions, you need to be in touch with them, others you will forget them. So it's very important that we engage with them systematically over a period of time. Now, you have vocal exercises, you have compositions to practice. Some of us may need to practice Manodharma also. And when we practice Manodharma, it should not be, for example, Alapanai or uh, 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 Swaram or Nerval we are going to do. It's not that, okay, I'm going to do Alapanai only for this A item this B composition, the C composition, I am not going to, or the others are too difficult, I am going to leave that. No. In practice, when you are practicing, every raga, difficult or simple, sing an alapna for that. Sing swaras for every composition. The most difficult raga also you should be able to sing. That is practice. It is not being selectively doing swara for this and that and all. No, you need to do swara prasthara for all compositions. And when you do swara prasthara, 
it is not as if you are performing on a stage just for 5 minutes or 2 minutes I will do Swara Prasthara and I will go to the next one. No. You need to do Swara Prasthara hundreds of rounds so that you do that, you do that, do that and then you internalize that Raga. The Raga actually starts singing within you naturally. So that's how you practice Mano Dharma. Some of you may find doing all this together may be too, too tedious because the time available in a day for a person to do all this may be very difficult. So how do you organize that? Divide your practice into two sessions or three sessions. In the morning, do your pranayama, meditation, your vocal exercises and some compositions. You can keep the evening for either comp some other compositions or manodharma or whatever it is. So split it so that you are able to cover the material without actually being worn out. It is important that we practice with a smile on our face. So happy practicing.